This is, it was made in 1942, uh -huh. and it's kind of the premier bluegrass guitar. It's called a herringbone. This thing, this trim that goes around here is a herringbone trim. Yeah. And the pre-war Martins, everybody's lusting after. And yeah. even in 1975, this guitar was $2,500, which was insane. It was 120 bucks, brand new. And so I saw this guy at a festival, and he had it in a case. And, mm -hmm. and it had a sign on it that said, pre-war D28, $2,500. And I said, can I see that guitar? And he said, kid, can you afford it? And I said, no, sir. And I'd sure like to see it, you know. So <laughs> he opened up the case, and yeah. it was this guitar. And... And uh, I had a newer Martin from like 1971. I said, would you consider a trade? And he goes, hell no. Oh. Yeah, no. <laughs> he was a crafty old dude. And so I gave him like 1600 bucks in my guitar. And that 1600 bucks that I bought this guitar with was all the money I had in the world. It was, yeah. everything. It was every dime. And I was broke, dead broke. Had no money in my account, but I had a gig for a couple hundred bucks a week. Yeah. And I figured I'll be all right. Did it start this addiction? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I had some extra money, I was buying a guitar. Yeah. You know, but it just... It's a little out of tune. Sounds like a piano. So if the place burns down, I'm going to probably grab this one first. 